A man is dead and a woman is fighting for her life after a fiery crash on Interstate 94. Here is some video from a Facebook user who drove by the scene of the crash while that car was still on fire. You can see the flames right there. The vehicle completely engulfed. Now, the state patrol says a vehicle lost control and went over the 41st Avenue Bridge in North Minneapolis. You can see plumes of smoke high in the air immediately after that crash from our MnDOT cameras. Troopers say the car was traveling north on Washington Avenue when it went over the guardrail. After crashing into the northbound lanes of 94, the car started on fire. Both the driver and passenger were pulled out of that car by police. The driver, 31-year-old Floyd Cunningham from Minneapolis, was killed. 37-year-old Lancha Robertson was hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. The state patrol says both were wearing their seatbelts. The new acting Minneapolis police chief has announced a sweeping change to the department's body camera policy. Officers must now activate their cameras when answering any call. Those cameras will also be automatically recording when officers turn on their squad cars emergency lights as well. This comes in response to the shooting death of Justine Damon. Had the new rules been in place during that in this incident, officers Mohammed Noor and Matthew Harity would have had to turn their body cameras on when responding to Damon's 911 call. What good is a camera if it is not being used when it may be needed the most? And as far as it being a knee-jerk reaction, well, the timing is, the timing shows that it takes something like this, unfortunately, to make the police department move. If officers don't follow the new body camera policy, they could be disciplined or even fired. The police union has its concerns, saying the changes were rushed and politically motivated. An audit of the program is set to begin and should last a few months. Acting Chief Arundondo says it's possible more policy changes will happen in the near future. Now, the state's investigation of the shooting could still take weeks. Officer Mohammed Noor fired the shot that killed Damon. He declined to speak to the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. The Hennepin County attorney will ultimately decide whether Noor faces criminal charges. Stay with WCCO as we continue to follow the latest on the shooting investigation. Apple supplier Foxconn is investing $10 billion in Wisconsin to create a new ma manufacturing plant. Governor Scott Walker is calling it the single biggest economic development project in the state's history. The plant will employ 3,000 people with the potential to grow to 13,000 and will go up in, north, in part of southeast southeastern Wisconsin. The new factory will build LCD panels used in televisions and computers. The legal battle between Governor Mark Dayton and the legislature is on the fast track to the Minnesota Supreme Court. It revolves around Dayton's move to zero out funding for the House and Senate while signing a $46 billion budget. The governor wants top Republicans to rework costly tax breaks and other measures that he signed into law. Last week, Governor Dayton appealed the case to the Minnesota Court of Appeals after a Ramsey County judge ruled his veto unconstitutional. But yesterday, the Supreme Court granted an accelerated review of the case. Oral arguments are set for the end of August.